Today I want to talk about country style ribs. I've had some questions uh, about what are country style ribs. I know you've probably seen them around on different forums or people asking questions, even saw them on Pitmasters. But a lot of people get, don't understand what really a country style rib is. And there's two kinds of ribs that are commonly used. I and mean, they're not really ribs at all. Um, this one is what you'll see in most supermarkets. It's basically a Boston butt that's been cut kind of like pork steaks. Some of them have bones in them, some of them won't, but they just slice it about an inch thick and come back and cut it in half and you've got what's called a country style rib. Um, you cook these just like you do ribs or, or butts basically because it's a Boston butt. Some of them will have some bone, like you can see the blade bone in this one. You recognize some of the muscles. There's that muscle that's in the C. And then some of them won't have bone because it depends on where the butcher takes the cut from. What they've done in a lot of supermarkets, um, I, I, the reason why I know this, I, was, I, I went and asked my butcher. A lot of times they're start selling trim butts in a supermarket. So they'll come in and they'll cut off a few of the ends to, to make that butt more square, to give them more value to sell it at their sale price. And it creates another cut of meat for them to, to mark up or to put out for the consumer. And that's where these country style ribs come from. Uh, they're also called Western style ribs. A lot of times you'll see these long, the ones cut from butts. Now a true country style rib for me actually comes from the loin area. And you look at this bone, what does that look like? It's a rib bone, just like um, the first 12 bones of that center cut of that rib of the loin ribs is where you get the, the ribs from when you're cooking loin back ribs. Well, back behind the, the loin back ribs, the ribs keep going and they tell off just like this to where the loin's tapering down. And it looks kind of like a pork chop. But um, back in the day, when, when uh, before there were meat saws and all this, people used hatchets and they used just what kind of ever hand saw they had. And that's how they cut ribs. And that's what they did with that section. And that's where it, it was happening out in the country. And that's where they got the name country style rib. It's basically the tail end of the loin with the last few ribs is still attached. And what happened, um, a lot of times this meat sits here like this when they're taking it out. When, you, when the butcher cuts that off the back, it tails down out of the loin, and you've already got your big center cut loin. Um, you've taken your ribs out, and what you're left with is this. So that what they'll do is they'll take their knife after they get it trimmed out, and you can split that and make one piece with a country style rib. It's got a little cartilage and a little bone where it was up on the spine. But then you're left with this piece of rib. So you actually get two pieces out of it. And when you smoke it and you let it cook for a long time, just like you're doing ribs or, or pork, pork butt or whatever, it's going to get tender and it's a lot of good meat. I mean, that's just pure. There's some fat in it for flavor, but it's, I mean, it's the tail end of the loin. You know it's good. And that's what I want to, I'm going to show you which one I think after we cook these today, what I think's best. I mean, I know pork steaks are good and these, these country style ribs from the butt section are going to taste like pork steak. And this is going to taste like baby back ribs. I mean, that's the flavor profiles we're going for. I'll show you how I season them up and how I'm going to cook them here later on. But I wanted, to, I wanted you to see the main difference, and we're going to cook them, and, and the cooking process is going to be pretty similar for both of them. Okay, I'm going to season up these ribs now, and I'm going to start with the country style ribs from the butt. And all I'm doing is I'm doing a base layer of salt, pepper, garlic, my all purpose seasoning. You can use whatever you like, but it just gets some good flavor on there to work on the meat first. Layering flavors, that's what it's all about when you cook. And you'll notice on these ribs that come from the butt section, there's a ton more fat in them. So they're gonna be full of flavor, but you gotta break them down a little further than you do these loin, the loin country style ribs. So they're gonna take a little bit longer. Just like butts take a little bit longer when you're cooking them versus cooking a slab of ribs. I got all the sides good on those. And let's do the same thing to these loin ones. And you can get your butcher to cut these for you. That's what I did. I was just curious. I'm mean, gonna getting questions. I never cooked, oh, I hadn't cooked many of these. I mean, we've had country style ribs growing up and stuff, but I never did really care to ask where they come from. And when I started getting questions. I was, you know, I wanted to see, I wanted to learn. And that's what a lot of, uh, if I don't know anything, man, I'll go, I'll go to my butcher and I'll ask him. I'll say, man, pull out a piece. I don't care what it costs. Let's break it down. Show me how to do it. And most of the time, your butchers will work with you. They're they're really, they, they want to educate the consumer. So it's good for their business, and it's good for you to learn. They got a good base coat of rub on them. Now we're going to come back with the barbecue rub. Use whatever rub you like, but just give them a good dose. And we're going to let them sit for a little while while I get the cooker ready. I'm going to cook these on my UDS today. I want them about 
275 degrees and I'm going to put some smoke on them. I think I got some good peach wood out there I'm going to use today. I'll get them smoking and we're going to treat them. Uh, we're going to give them a wrap job once I get some smoke in them, get them really good and tender. Then we'll finish them off with the glaze and kind of char it on at the end right over the coals and uh, it's going to make for some really, really good country style ribs. Now you can't turn these into a the contest, but for something to eat at the house or to impress your friends with, man, go for it. Alright, they're all doctored up. We're going to let this season and set for a few minutes. Start pulling out some of the moisture out of the meat while I get my smoker ready outside. Then we're going to throw them on and let these guys just set in some good smoke, about 275 degrees for about an hour, hour and a half. We'll keep an eye on them, show you how to do it here in just a second. Alright, I'm out here at my drum. I got it fired up. Um, I'm running two vents open all the way. I want about 275. That's the temperature I'm looking at. I want to cook these. Um, straight on the rack, not doing anything to them. Um, they're going to go about an hour, and I'm going to check them and see what they look like. <clears throat> then what I'm going to do is get them wrapped up, put them in a pan with a little bit of my sauce and a little bit of pineapple juice, kind of steam them in that pan, break them down a little further, make sure they're nice and tender, and we're going to put them in some glaze and then put them back straight on the grate and finish them off. We'll use the same cooking process on these. Um, you can see the the loin ones are cut just a little bit thicker, and um, but but the butt country style ribs have a little more connective tissue, so the th it might be a little thinner, but it's still going to cook about the same time. Now I've got two cuts of country style ribs on UDS smokers, 22 inch grate. We're going to let these roll for about an hour. Got a little peach wood on here for some smoke, and we'll check them and see what they look like in just about an hour. All right, now I'm mixing up um, the sauce that I want to braise these uh, country style ribs in. And what I've got is about a cup of pineapple juice. I'm just going to split this up between both pans, about a half cup in each pan. Then I'm going to mix in some of my Killer Hogs barbecue sauce. And this is just going to create some extra liquid in there. The pineapple salt, uh, the pineapple juice helps uh, break the pork down some, but it thins it out where it's not so thick. And you don't have to worry about exact measurements. Just get some sauce in there and get it thinned down with a little juice. These country style ribs have been on just about an hour and 15 minutes, and I checked the internal temp. They're right around 150 degrees, and that's about as much smoke uh, um, that they'll get in them at that point. So you get them covered up in one of these small pans. You can do it in aluminum foil, but I found the pan works just as well. And we'll take these outside, take those ribs up, get them covered up, and then back on to really tenderize them. They're gonna probably need about another hour, hour and a half. We'll keep an eye on them, check them. I want them, if you're looking for an, um, the final temp, they need to be just right around 195 to 198, right in that range. Same thing you take a butt to, uh, ribs are about the same range when you tempt them. But I'll show you all that out the grill. Alright, so now, about an hour and 15 minutes, you can see they got really good color on them. All I'm going to do is get them in this sauce, stack them up in this pan, we we'll let them break down. That's what's going to get them good and tender. They're juicy. Got some good color on them. That's exactly what I want to see. Get these covered up. We'll get them right back on the grill. All right, I got them covered up now, and I just used a full lid that fits a half-size pan. And I'm setting them right back on. I'm going to check them in about an hour to hour and a half, and they ought to be really tender. That's kind of a total cook time about two and a half, two hours, 45 minutes, something like that. The last step is going to be putting them back on the grate, out of the pan, just enough to caramelize that sauce, and they'll be ready to go. Okay, it's been about an hour, 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get these country style ribs off here. They have tenderized long enough. And I just wanted to get them broke down, really render that fat. Now we're going to put them back on and just kind of crisp up the outside, glaze them a little bit. A 
they really cook down. You can see the fat's rendered, bones pulling back. These are gonna be tender. And they've been in that pineapple juice and barbecue sauce, so I know they have a ton of flavor. Now it's just about getting a little caramelization on that outside, and we're gonna be in business. Now, I just got Kellogg's barbecue sauce coming back on the top, quick glaze. We'll let this caramelize on each side. It's not gonna take maybe five minutes each side, not long. The internal temp of these is right about 195 to 200 degrees, right in that range. That's what you want. They're really tender, feeling really good. The sauce pretties them up. I'll get a quick flip on them. Get the other side, we'll put the lid on. All right, this is finishing up the sauce on the back side of them here. And man, I'm telling you, man, these things, country style ribs, I know you can't turn them into the contest, but man, they look good. Now we just gonna get the lid on them. Let them rock and roll for a few minutes. I'll leave them on this side. Come back, flip them over, and we'll show you what they look like. It's been about five minutes. That's all I want on that first side. See how it's caramelizing? You're getting a little, little grill marks on them. That's what you want, man. The sauce starts to, to get that little char look, but it's not burning, man. That's, but you, you don't want them to go too long, just like that. It's a beautiful thing. But I'll let this side go for two minutes and these country style ribs are done. Just want to get this side caramelized a little, not too much heat. It's been another five minutes and I'm taking these bad dudes up. But man, look at just how it's glistening there. That's sauce is getting hot and melted on. That's what I'm talking about. Country style ribs. Killer hogs way. Really two ways. We put the loin ribs on you and the country style ribs from the butt or the western ribs. All right, here's the final product. I want you to see I got the country style rib that come off the butt. You can see the blade bone here. Um, when I'm, I'm fixing to take a bite of this, I know I'm going right for this piece of meat. That's that meat in the Y, that blade bone. We always pull that thing out when we're doing a butt, but I'm just gonna get it off here. Let's see, it's pretty still hot, but that's some fine eating. Now this is the country style rib that come off that loin, that last, that last few ribs on a hog. And it's got all that meat on it, man. It's just tender as it could be. Mm. This one right here is where it's at. The butt country rib's good, but man, this one right here is packed with some flavor and the meat's tender as it can be. I like that, that's good meat. Country style ribs, two ways, killer hogs.